Hey, how's it going? This is Henry Fleischer here. Very, um, responding to your request, really quick video on tips you can use to grow your business online. As you can see right now, I'm on your Facebook page, JG Junk Removal and Cleanup. So I like how in your profile picture, you got a picture of your truck front and center. And then for your cover photo, it's good how you got mentioned how garbage removal. And then you have your phone numbers there, as well as all the different vehicles you use to get the job done. Then it's good you mentioned that you do garbage collection service. It's good you're posting as well too to engage with your users on Facebook and show and it's showing all the work you're doing, which is great. Then we go up. We get I'm just looking at the about section. It's good you got your address listed right there. We we'll get more into that later on, and it's good you got your phone number listed. People can message you on your Facebook page, which is good. But one thing I'm not seeing is a website. And I'm going to show you how you can actually use a website to your advantage. So here's what happens when we search for junk removal for the Bronx, New York. These top two people right here are actually advertising. So they're paying to be on page one. So they're renting that space and ultimately you want to be owning it. And we go further down. This is the map portion of Google. So the top three people here get the most traffic. So we got New York City rubbish removal, Anthony rubbish removal, remove my junk. Once we get past the map portion, then we get into the organic section. As I mentioned too, this is where you would want to have a spot on page one. They get the most traffic. I'm going to show you some stats real quickly. I mean, soon. So we got 1-800-GotJunk.com, JunkLuggers, Yelp, yeah, CleanOnExpress.com, HomeAdvisor, yeah, Junk Garbage Removal. Let's see, go load up. And we'll go down. There's more advertisements down there. But here's the stat right here. So. With Google search traffic, 91.5% of that traffic actually goes to page one. As soon as you leave page one and hit page two, traffic goes all the way down to 4.8% for page two. Page three gets 1.1% of that traffic. And then page four and up is getting almost nothing. It's just getting the breadcrumbs. So if you're not on page one of Google, it'll just be much harder for people to find you. In addition to 47% of the time people conduct a Google search, they're actually trying to find a local business service. So here's... Um, 1-800 got junk. This is the page that it was ranked number two. We're gonna go with them. So they're a franchise. So they have tons of pages across the web. But here's their page about the Bronx. So they mentioned they do junk removal of the Bronx, upfront pricing. They have locations what we take. So we see here they mentioned like some keywords like Bronx best dumpster rental alternative, garbage service. Doesn't really look like they have too much content on here, but on this page but Google favors those websites with tons of pages as well so one thing you can do to get your pages up you can you gotta have service pages also like even like pages about each location you serve and then like your homepage contact us about us even a blog too if you blog about writing articles about like what the whole process of junk removal is and then certain opinions on the matter they'll make you a thought leader in this space and some things too, whenever you have a website, you always have to think to yourself, like, what's the first action you want the user to take when they first land there? So it's always best to have a clickable phone number at the top left so they can call you on a mobile device. And then to the right, you want it, you want to have a contact form. And right above that contact form, you want to say, like, get a free estimate or get a free quote. That'll give them more incentives to fill out the contact form and contact you via email. And then you always, as I mentioned too, with the clickable phone number on the left, the user's eyes always start on the left hand side of the page and then they make their way to the right which is why you'd want that contact form at the right so looking at the maps too you can possibly because you serve the Bronx maybe you can do like how you serve all at a, a lot of different neighborhoods in the Bronx maybe you can do like Throg you can do one about Throg's Neck, Park Chester, maybe Hunts Point, Kingsbridge, Williamsbridge, East Chester, like Van Cortland Park, City Island, like Pelham Bay Park, even Riverdale Maybe going to Manhattan, you want to get Inwood, Washington Heights, Upper East Side, Upper West Side, Harlem. Maybe, or maybe you want to go to Queens and then get College Point, Whitestone, Ditmars, East Elmhurst, Bay Terrace, like Flushing, Murray Hill, as well as like Fresh Meadows. And going back here, like some things that Google looks for when ranking a local business website is authoritative content. So you want to have between 1,000 to 1,500 words all about the services you provide and then you want to have between 500 to 750 words for each 
service. So I saw here, you can do one for like, you can do service page for junk removal. You can do one for like a state clean out if you do that. Even uh, office clean out or like house moving, moving clean out and so on. And when I hover over this image here too, you see how it says like, oh, 1-800-GOT-JUNK. So like, that's actually a keyword rich term there. Google's going to read that. And they could possibly show up in an image search result. That's another way for people to find them. So if you have a web, if you, whenever you build your website out and you upload an image to that site, make sure you have something that reads similar to that, or just saying it says something like junk removal Bronx NY, because yeah, that the people that's another way for people to find you. And another thing too, though, although like having a great authoritative content and lots of it is very necessary that that alone is not going to be enough to get you to page one you also need a thing called backlinks so a backlink is when you put your website link onto another website not all backlinks are created equal some are more powerful than others so think about it like this like whenever you have a new website it's similar to being a new kid at a new school who's trying to be popular they're not going to be no matter like how good looking and how great the personality is they're not going to be they're not going to be popular on day one same thing with like a website even with all its great content you gotta win the votes and confidence of your peers and the popular kids. Or in, with the websites case, all these popular websites and powerful websites. Google is the judge of who the popular kids at the school are. So let's just say you put your website link onto a site called like Junk Removal Pro is their top site in that space. And they gave you a follow. Google would see that be like, oh, Junk Removal Pros likes the new kid. We're gonna move him up the rankings. Then you wanna find more and more of those popular type sites to link up to. You. If you put what your website link on a new website called Joe's junk removal.com and they gave you a follow Google will see that and be like oh a new kid vouching from the new kid his opinion doesn't mean anything or keep him ranked where he is so here this is what I like to use called Ahrefs so just here's like for the 1-800-GOT-JUNKS Bronx page here's where they're at so they rank for 24 keywords and the, they don't have any backlinks to that page but they probably do it for all their other pages like their home page because they are a big company but any of these other local business websites you see, you can actually see which websites they're linking to and try to link up to those same sites. So let's take a look at their keywords. So like junk removal Bronx, it searched 100 times a month and they rank at number one for that. Like rubbish removal Bronx, it's 30 times a month, that's another keyword you want to try to rank for. So you can put those like keywords on your to your website to rank for there. And then garbage removal Bronx as well, it searched 10 times a month. Garbage removal Bronx and why? Maybe Bronx furniture too. If you work with furniture, like dumpster rental, if you do that, Bronx, search 90 times a month. Scrapyard Bronx, that could be another, you could mention something about scrapyard and it could appear in the keyword search. Bronx dump site could be another one. Let's see, furniture Bronx and why. Cheap furniture Bronx. Garbage pickup Bronx could be another one as well. So donate furniture or Westchester pickup could also be another one. So as I mentioned too, though, like, if you're not ranked as high as you think you should be, like, um, you gotta add, just keep adding a lot, a lot of authoritative content, and then try, then get link up to as many powerful sites as possible. Now to help you rise up in the rankings. And the other piece of the puzzle too is ranking in the maps portion of Google. You need a thing called citations. What a citation is is when you put your website link onto another. Sorry, I should explain it backwards. But a citation is the number of times that you're Business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. So this is a tool I like to use called WhiteSpark. Right here, here's you three, with your phone number and stuff. So you have 16 citations. Let's take a look at your competition. So Anthony Rubbish Removal is 42, then 13, 10. You see how some of these guys have like more citations than the other guys? Like That alone is not going to be enough. To leapfrog them in the rankings just because you have way more citations. Yes, you want to have add 50. It's best to have add 50 to 100 plus more citations than everybody else, but that alone's not going to be enough to leapfrog them. So, what you have to do is get that website with highly authoritative content and lots of it, as well as those juicy backlinks. If you have that high powered website in addition to way more citations than everybody else, then you're going to be way ahead of the competition and rank up in maps. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.